Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today I'll be bringing you a short video um, showcasing a new repo that I created. I uh, recently finished an app and um, I'm getting started on a new one basically and I realized as I um, have been working on my previous app and starting on a new one that uh, it's pretty tiresome to create everything again, basically. Because if you, when you start a new project, there is just a bunch of libraries that you need to pull in, or at least some libra libraries that you should be pulling in. And there's basically some initial code that needs to be written. And it would just be nice if that was just already there and set up for you when you start a new project. So what I did was I created this little um, repo here that you can clone down on your machine in your new project, which um, has a bunch of stuff in here. And of course, the stuff that I'm using might not be relevant to you, but uh, maybe some of the code um, is, is interesting to you. Maybe you can learn some of it. And maybe it's very useful, who knows? So um, if you scroll down, I created a little readme here that says uh, a little bit about what's inside. So we have a basic routing setup. Set up with React Navigation version 5, where we have uh, a few screens and also some bottom tab navigation and um, some good defaults for the settings. And then we, I create a few utility components. Um, this is very much just for me to have these components because um, these are components I'm creating over and over again and that are very useful in a React Native pro project, uh, such as typography, uh, having a spacer component to create some space around your element so you are not adding margin, but uh, margin top and padding everywhere and divider component. In addition, I pull in a library called native base uh, just to have some essential components and the uh, option for theming when you're doing a cross platform development. So when I uh, finished my uh, previous project here, I realized that I should have pulled in this library from the beginning because I was just writing a bunch of components from scratch and it was taking ages and I was using TypeScript and I had to write a bunch of the types as well. I was just getting really slowed down. I could, If I just had a small library that I could pull in some components here and there, it would have saved a bunch of time and a lot of headache. So this library, I can definitely recommend pulling this one in. Uh, it has some very neat, just very basic layout components and um, just some some standard components that are great, like input components and buttons and so on. So, and uh, of course the theming is great. So you can basically theme uh, all their components to fit your needs, which is very cool. And uh, what else is inside? I created two context providers, one global context, because every app usually has a user at least, or at least something stored in there. So that is already set up. And another context provider for language. So um, usually an app will have more than one language. Uh, and um, this has already been set up as well. So this is just a React context, right? And it's wrapped together with the global context around the whole app. And I'm going to showcase some of the code in a moment. And then the logical folder structure, which um, hopefully makes sense when I show it in a bit. And uh, some screens here. So some welcome screen, sign in screen, sign out screen. Uh, this should actually be sign up screen. And then a home and a profile screen. So these screens are already there, set up with React Navigation. And of course, this might not be what you are looking for, but most apps have these screens. So they are, they are there uh, set up if um, 
you want to use it and whatnot. And then there are some third party packages installed, such as React Native Image Picker, which are very common in most projects. Okay, this is uh, what you get, and this is the installation. So you clone it down, you yarn to get the dependencies, cd into iOS, and then do pod install, and you should be good to go on both platforms. Okay, so just a quick look at the code, or some of the code. So here is um, the app where I have my root context provider and my language provider, and then the free provider from native base, and then the navigation here. And this is the uh, welcome screen here, sign up, log in. Click here, sign up, screen, log in, screen, right? And if we sign up, we're ending up on the home screen and it's already set up some navigation here, the home screen and the profile screen, okay? So this is uh, this is what you get out of the box. And uh, the logical folder structure, you can see on the left, we have our translations here. We have our context writer inside the context folder. Um, some very basic code here just to get um, picking up the language from the device and um, uh, setting the state of what language we have. And uh, routing, here we have the root navigation. And in this file, we have the tab navigation. And the screens here, the five screens I talked about, some shared styles in here and then some types that are used in multiple components, yeah? And as I said, I also created a few utility components. They are inside components here. And uh, with native base, we get this uh, native base theme in the root outside the source folder. We get this native base theme where we go in here and adjust a bunch of values here if you want to change something. Could be color, could be font sizes, whatever it may be. Okay, that's uh, that's all I want to show you guys um, in this video. Just a very quick look at this package that I published or this repo that I published. Maybe there's some code in here that are interesting to you or maybe you uh, just finished a project and you're using some of the same technologies as me TypeScript, uh, React Navigation, some of these libraries, and want to try it out, then uh, that's also cool. Okay, that's all for this video. I will see you in the next one.